what's going on everybody today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Pro Tools session templates how to create one how to save one how to download one and how to use one um, it's going to be a pretty straightforward easy tutorial so when you open Pro Tools you're going to be prompted with this window make sure it's on session we're going to call we're going to create a file but just call it something random like template creation or something all we're going to be doing here is just creating the template so when you come right here the first thing I like to do is add a bunch of tracks I'm gonna be adding six total audio tracks four for lead vocals and two for ad-libs you're gonna wanna double click on audio one and you're gonna rename it whatever you want so I'm gonna call it hook and verse because that's normally all a song consists of and then once you get to the last two we're gonna call them ad-lib tracks because you're gonna need ad-libs or background vocals basically the same thing you can call it whatever you want okay now that we have our thing our tracks renamed you're gonna want to make sure that uh, the inputs for all of them are on input one whatever one your mic is connected to so you can check by clicking one of these two buttons if you hear yourself or if you see this lighting up while you're speaking into your mic you're on the right one and you can if you're on the wrong thing like let's say you're on Windows audio device it's gonna be using your your built-in laptop or desktop mic which is not good so you're gonna want to use the focus right or whichever audio interface you have your mic your good mic plugged into okay after we have our tracks for recording we need our tracks for effects which is gonna be stereo aux inputs you're gonna need at least three of them okay we're gonna rename them by double clicking again calling the first one lead effects the second one's gonna be a delay send and the third one's gonna be a reverb send now I'll explain these later but the first thing you want to do is make sure the outputs of each track are being sent to the lead effects I'm gonna show you why this is important in a bit I'll do this for everything except the ad-libs the ad-libs you leave them normally okay now our vocal tracks are gonna be sent to the lead effects which means that we can put all the effects on this track instead of doing them multiple times like on each of these tracks individually which would take up too much CPU and be cause you a headache because it's too much work so let me give you an example of what's gonna happen when we record okay we gotta read. blah 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 look what just happened is I recorded this but it's being sent here look my v my vocals are on this track but we're gonna hear them through this we're not gonna hear it through this track we're gonna hear it through this track which means we don't have to put the effects right here we have to put them over here I'll show you look when we play it you can see it you can see the audio going through here which is good the only effect that you're gonna want on this is EQ because you might have uh, two vocalists or you might want different um, EQ effects for each track but the rest are gonna be pretty sh like easy to use as for the vocals as a whole what I'm doing right now is I'm just dragging an EQ to each one by holding alt and just dragging it's basically a copy and paste next thing you want to you want to do is hold control and hit this solo button on each of these stereo aux input aux tracks because that I think it's called a solo safe or something but 
basically it means if you solo this track you'll still hear it come through here if I didn't have this solo saved and I played this soloed you won't hear it so make sure that these are you hit control click to solo save them I don't even know if that's the right term forgive me guys okay for the effects on here I'm just go through real quick what I use I use auto tune then I put it into a compressor Actually, before the compressor, I used a de -esser. So, auto-tune, de -esser, compressor. One more EQ. My favorite is the SSL EQ. So, I use this one only for adding in frequencies that I enjoy and that I want the song, that I want the vocals to have in them. So, you just do this one mostly by ear. You're just turning these, these knobs and trying to make it just sound better. The last thing is an extra de-esser, which is not that crazy. A lot of people, a lot of professionals actually use two de-essers. Contrary to what, like, people might think, why I use another one that's already right here? But once you're adding in these high frequencies, for example, it's going to get a little bit harsh. So the de-esser just makes it easy to cancel out the, like, the sibilance that is really harsh on your ears. Okay. Once you have this, you're good. All you're going to want to do now is send send to the delay. And here you can control the volume of the delay. So if I play this, look. My bad, guys. I don't even have a delay on here. I'm done. Let me just add a delay. My favorite is the H delay. Just leave that on. Okay. Now that it's being sent to here, you're going to hear it. great that's what we want next thing you want to do is add a reverb my favorite is the H reverb and from the lead effects you're gonna send it to the reverb here we go great the reason why you don't want to send from here the reason why you don't want to do this is because these vocals are unprocessed and it's gonna sound bad it's gonna sound the delay is going to be a delay of your unprocessed vocals, which are probably not the best sounding vocals. You're going to want to do it after they're processed with these effects. And if you're making a song, all you need to do is get a beat and just put it in here. You drag it into the gray area at the bottom, then you can move your beat around, lower the volume of it. And you'll be good to record right here. Um, in the template, just make sure that these are all the way down so that you can adjust them each time. Unless you know what volume you might like it at, maybe you'd like it right here or something, you can leave it there because whatever we save right now is going to be saved to the template as a whole, which is why we got to delete this beat. Audio tracks are not going to be saved, so it doesn't matter. You can, I think you can have the option to save it, but. I don't think you really want to do that when you're saving a template. Um, everything looks good right here. The ad libs, um, I don't send them to the lead effects because once you add, if you're adding like two or more vocals at the same time to this, it's not going to be good because you have the auto tune and the auto tune is going to go nuts. Like it's not going to know which vocal to correct. So if you're going to do that, no, actually, don't do that at all. Just always mix your ad lib separately. You can you can create your own ad lib track, like your own stereo ad lib track. The basically how we did this, but instead called it ad lib effects. But um, I don't really think that's necessary because most of the time when I do two sets of ad libs, one of them is mixed completely differently than the other, so. I would just leave them like this or one of them is going to be a like a doubles and one of them is going to be ad libs so yeah basically this is good this is this is basically all you need to make good music 
you can obviously change these these uh plugins or whatever to suit your liking more um these are all plugins from waves from a waves bundle these are not the stock plugins so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make save you guys two templates one is gonna be with the waves bundles and one of them is gonna be with stock i mean the wave plugins and one of them is gonna be with the stock plugins okay to save it all you do is go to, you go to file save as template and install template in the system you pick a folder a custom and just name it something and you'll be good template one with waves that's what I'm gonna call this one now let me just real quick try to see if I can make one with stock plugins um, yeah I think this is a stock yep a uh, stock compressor that I use I would I think I was using this one yep wait what oh I accidentally picked the wrong thing DSer, yep. Um, EQ, obviously the uh, the best EQ from here is this one. Just add another DSer. You can change these to stock. Do I not have a stock delay? Okay, this is a stock one. And then D verb, I know. Yep. Basically, this will do the same thing, guys. So, what I'm going to do now, save it again. And there you go. That's with the stock plugins. So, the next time you make a session, you're gonna hit create from template and you're gonna find wherever you saved it to so here it is template template one with waves template with stock and you're just gonna highlight whichever one you want to use make sure to rename your file song one or something whatever you, you're doing and you're gonna hit create so when you open it it's gonna have everything that we did it's gonna have all the effects it's gonna have all the routing basically you're gonna be good to go so that's it guys thanks for watching I hope you guys found this helpful drop a comment what you think about it what you want to see in the future um, subscribe like and I'll see you next time